there's Theo again. Now, what if you want to edit an image to use in a viral post? So you want to edit that image to make it more unusual, to make it more striking, or just to do something with it so that it's more relevant to your post or to give it a better chance of going viral, to give it more of that wow factor, to make it more compelling and more thought provoking. Well, there are a number of free image editors that you can get online and I'm going to show you the two best. Now, first of all, we've got Pixlr. Now, Pixlr is very close to Photoshop and I have to confess I have not used Pixlr. I have got Photoshop because I need it for my e-commerce business, but it is very close to Photoshop. Now, you do have to sign up for a free account, but it is completely free. And the great thing about Pixlr is that you don't need to download anything. It's completely browser based. So it's a totally web based application. There's nothing to download to your device. And you've got two options. You can either use the Pixlr editor or Pixlr Express. Now Pixlr Express is kind of limited. It's more like creating effects or borders and that kind of thing on an image. But if you want to really do something with an image, perhaps add things to an image, that kind of thing, then you would need the Pixlr editor. But by signing up for free, you would be able to launch either of these. Now, obviously, folks, there's a little bit of a learning curve here and it's way beyond the scope of this course. Now, another good free option for an image editor is GIMP. GIMP's been around for a long time and in fact I used to use GIMP so a couple of years ago I was using GIMP before I started to use Photoshop. Now GIMP has a very good reputation. You do need to download it to your device. It's not web based and it can be a little heavy so it's a pretty big program and it can be a little slow and a little cumbersome but nevertheless it's still a very very good program and you can do pretty much everything with GIMP. Now, GIMP do have their own tutorials up here, but again, in the document that's attached with this lecture, I have added links to some other free tutorials for GIMP as well. So that's GIMP.org or Pixlr.com.